Today we're gonna tackle my bathroom Formica countertop. We're gonna give it a new look with Wise Owl's One R Enamel. This paint is so cool, doesn't require a top coat. It's already in there and it is hard as a rock. Super cool paint. Are you guys ready? Here we go. This whole bathroom is going to be a one hour enamel bathroom. Those cabinets are done with it. That floor is done with it. It's a little bit of a mess, so we're gonna have to do some cleaning first. But let's go ahead and check out that floor. I did a video on this floor 11, 11 months ago, and I've been asked numerous times on how it's holding up. How do I clean it? What do I do? After I clean off that countertop, we're gonna get started cleaning this. Oh, all right, so what I do, I clean it with Lysol or Pine Sol or Mr. Clean, like any of those cleaners work really well. You can also use the Swiffer and I just pour it in there. If anybody's interested in how I did that floor and how that one's holding up, there's a video for that one too. I'll put the card right above if you wanna check that out. This is just regular vinyl flooring. 11 months ago, I primed it and I painted it with one hour enamel paint. And then I went back and I stenciled in some stencils with one hour enamel also in carbon. So we're gonna use carbon today because that's gonna match the floor to the countertops. So here we go. These for Marca countertops are super smooth. So I thought it'd be best. I don't even know if it's necessary, but let's just take that extra step and give it a light sanding with this sponge. It's like a medium to fine sponge. You can't even tell you're doing anything. There's not really even a dust created, but I feel like I did something. I gave it a little bit of tooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off, get all that dust off there, and then we're gonna be ready to remove that caulking. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I'd be real smart and use a razor blade to cut it, to get like this perfect little edge. Well, no, it, you know what, just whatever. Just get out your get out your dilly and scrape it off. That um, first step was completely not necessary. Now that we have all that caulk off, we're just gonna go ahead and tape off these nice plastic sinks that came with my house. Um, even though they are plastic, I wanna try, emphasize try, to avoid getting any paint on them. I'm much more of a scraper than a taper. There's two different types of people in this world and I would rather scrape than tape. One hour enamel sticks so good that scraping is not an option, so you must tape. All right, I think we have it all prepped good enough. We've got it taped off, so it's time to start. We are going to use our Klingon S50 and Wiesel's primer in dark gray. I'm gonna be using gray paint on here, so the dark gray made sense. You ready? Let's do it. Let's start off by giving this whole thing a coat of primer in dark gray, made by Wiesel. Let's do our first coat of Wiesel's primer in dark gray. We're gonna just kind of try to keep it level. It's gonna be ugly, but let's keep it level. Oh, Alexa, stop. Look, I forgot to do this one. All right, back it up. How on earth do you forget half your bathroom? Well, if you're Melanie, you can forget half your bathroom. I don't know what to say, guys. Let's go ahead and keep going on with our first coat again. When we're putting it on there, it doesn't need to be real thick. We just want to keep it, like I said, kind of level. Like I don't want a lot of highs and lows. I just want full coverage. You know what I mean? In my opinion, any of your Klingons are going to be the best for this. They're a nice, soft, synthetic, bristled brush, and they're just going to get you wonderful coverage.
All right, that looks fabulous. Just kidding, that looks just how primer should look on the first coat. Let's just keep going. Hey, I waited four hours. I did the actual recommended time before I went in to put my second coat of primer on. I have to admit, I never ever wait four hours, but for this one, I thought I'm gonna do it. Waited four hours, waited another four hours, and now it's time. We're gonna dip into our one hour enamel in carbon. We're going back in with the very same brush we've been using this whole time, and here we go. So this is carbon. Remember guys, this paint does not require a top coat. I get asked that all the time. What did you seal it with? What did you use as your top coat? I didn't. This paint doesn't need it. So that makes it just that much cooler, that much easier, and that much more efficient. So while we watch Melanie paint her little heart out here, trying to get these cabinets nice and smooth on the first coat, shame on me for even trying, let's talk about what all you can do with this paint. This paint was originally intended for garage doors and exterior doors. That is how durable it is, and that's why that top coat's already in there. There is all kinds of science to it, and we could ask the Wise Out girls about it. I honestly can't give you all those details, but you can look them up on my website. They're there. I have painted, let's see, my vinyl flooring that I am standing on as we speak, my cabinets, numerous customers' cabinets, um, exterior doors, my outside concrete patio, my garage floor, all with one hour enamel. It's also abbreviated and called OHE. So that's the paint we're using, and um, I'm gonna highly recommend it for a lot of things. OHE dries in about an hour and is ready for coat number two. So that's what we're doing now. We're going in, I'm kinda gonna go the opposite direction. You could always use a roller if you wanted to do that. I didn't wanna go out and buy one. I used my brushes and it turned out just fine. But if you're more comfortable with a roller, do a roller. After coat number two was completely dry, I went back in, kind of did some touch up in some areas. Everything looks pretty good, but I feel like I just wanted to give it one more. So I did. After all that was done, I waited till the following day to remove the tape. The last thing we want to do is pull up our paint when we pull off our tape. I don't know if you've ever had that happen, but it um, kind of sucks and I didn't want to deal with that. So I did wait and I was careful and mindful as I pulled. Okay, in my last floor video, I got a lot of slack for not showing you guys the cock job. I didn't show you the cock job because I'm not a good cocker, <laughs> all right? I'm gonna do my best, and I can't say that Melanie is a professional cocker because she is not. She does um, mediocre at best at the cocking, but I'm gonna get it done. So we're gonna lay a little bead there. I'm gonna use my finger. There's all these fancy tools and stuff, which I don't seem, they, don't, they just don't work for me either. My finger seems to be my best tool. So let's cock these sinks back up. Let's just recap real quick. We used Wise Owl's primer in dark gray. We used one hour enamel made by Wise Owl also in carbon. We put on two coats of primer. We put on three coats of paint. We taped it, we cocked it, we have it all done. It looks pretty tight. There are some brush strokes here and there and I was trying super hard to get them in the pictures. And you know what? They're so minor. I don't even think I got them. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys are interested in that floor video, look for that card. I'll put it in the comments below too. So that's it. Tell me what you guys think of this new countertop. I think it's a lot less expensive than buying a new one. I don't even know how much this cost me, but um, a fraction. I had a quart of each primer and paint, and I used maybe a third of both. If you guys are interested in these products, you can always find them on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com. Don't forget, 
You guys are awesome and only you can make it happen. I hope to see you soon. See ya.